What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to create this split layer video effect. And this will work on widescreen or vertical. For this one, I'm gonna go through how to do it for Instagram Reels. It's a really cool way to show multiple video clips within one frame. This style effect is performing really well on Instagram Reels at the moment. So if you're looking to grow, then this is a good effect to do for your next Instagram Reel. Let's get into the editing. The first thing I'm going to do is change my project settings so that it's in vertical, ready to export for Instagram Reels. So what I'm going to do is press Command J on the keyboard, and this will bring up my project settings up here. I'm gonna click Modify so that I can change the uh, video project size, and I'm gonna go down to Vertical, and I'm gonna put it in the 4K Vertical option, and then just click OK. It's changed to Vertical. What I'm going to do is bring in one of my video clips, to import it into the timeline, I'm going to press Q on the keyboard. That will bring it on top of the timeline. And then I can do that with the other video clips so that they layer on top of each other. So the next thing I'm gonna do is import a grid so that I can space my videos out equally. To do that, what I'm going to do is go up to the view, go to choose custom overlay, and then click add custom overlay. And then what I'll do is select my grid that I created and I'll leave the link to this download in the description. It's just a PNG image. So now I have this grid which I can fit each video clip into each of the segments. And if you go to view, you can also change the opacity of the overlay so that you can see more of the video. So now that I have my grid, I just need to move the video clip into one of these segments. So I'm going to select the video clip, select the transform tool over here. And I'm gonna start from the bottom and just move this into the grid. And then zoom in and go over here to the parameters and go down to crop. And I'm just going to crop the top of this video clip so that it fits within the line. I just wanna mention that before you move all your video clips into the segments, it's probably best that you do all of the editing that you want to do like slow motion and all of the effects before you move it into the segment. So now I'm going to select my next video clip and then press Q on the keyboard so that it comes onto the timeline on top of the video clip that I added at the bottom. Just going to slow this one down too. And then I can use a transform tool and drag this into position and then crop the video so that it fits in the lines. And then I'm just going to repeat the same steps for each video clip. So now that I have all my video clips on the timeline on top of each other, what I can do to get rid of the overlay is go to view and just click show custom overlay and that will get rid of the lines. And then we're just left with the split layer video effect. So now to export that for Instagram, what I could do is select the range on the timeline, pressing R on the keyboard, and then selecting the part that I want to export. And then I'll go export file. And then I'll go to the settings and format. I'll go to video and audio, and then H264. And then that's ready to export. I'll click next. And now I can airdrop that video file to my phone to upload to Instagram. That's how I do it. Um, but there's obviously multiple ways to upload to Instagram. And yeah, that's pretty much the effect. I'll leave the link to the overlay grid down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.